Hey there, welcome to Sweet 16, where we watch the sweetest 16 minutes of gameplay and have a chit chat about what we're seeing. My name is Rad and joining me is Jordo. Hello. And Joe. Hi there. And we are looking at Rocket League. But not. But not. But kind of. Rocket Golf. Rocket Golf, yeah. Interesting game this one. So you both played it, I haven't. Talk me through it. Uh, well, basically it is, it's Rocket League, but if Rocket League was a racing game and golf. So is this by the developers of Rocket League? No, I don't mm. believe so. No, not at all. And Rocket League is a very beloved and I'm gonna say tight game. Do you find this has the same tightness that we all love from Rocket League. No, this no. is as, this is as loosey <laughs> goosey not. as we get. Yeah, it's uh, it's the it's interesting because the mechanics feel like they should easily transfer over to this game, but it just didn't feel the same at all. Yeah, it's the kind of thing you, you look at the trailer and you go, oh, "That's a good idea." So basically, every, each player has their own ball that you can't and you can't interact with other players' balls. Basically, um, it's kind of like Mario Kart. As you're going along, you get rockets and power-ups and speed boosts. Well, it's like Mario Golf. They also have this, you know, yep. very similar mode. You have your own ball. You can get power-ups. Yep. yep. Um, but, I mean, that's, it's kind of like... It's just a race to get your ball in the hole first. So there's all these rings. And when I first played, I was like, oh, maybe these are extra points. So I was spending all this time trying to oh. get these tricky shots in these rings. And they're just, they're just little boosts. They just shoot your ball forward yeah. a bit more. Well, I guess that's still kind of useful. Well, the only way to really interact with other players is these pickups you can see, which are the rockets, and then shields, which protect you from rockets. Outside of that, there's no real reason you're playing with other people, like other oh. than the race component, yeah, which you, just isn't that thrilling either. You can't even crash into them, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Really? No, no not at all. That so. feels very, very odd to me for what is looks like it's built to be a multiplayer game. Like, it doesn't look like it was made to play by yourself, really. No, and you've no. got these beautiful physics. You can actually fly in this game as well. Um, we'll get a bit of footage of that soon. But unlike Rocket League, you can actually deploy wings and float around Diddy Kong Racing style. But there's just no real incentive to do that. I never found any reason to do it. No. Yeah. So Was it fun to play with friends, though? Because I, I saw a couple of game tags there. I see you guys <laughs> playing together. <laughs> Uh, did that add to the experience and were you on comms? We did muster the, the game crew together. Um, sorry, the, uh, the game you see gamer crew together. And we tried to have a good time over comms. <laughs> the best fun was just like ripping on everything because the game itself didn't really hold much for any of us. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a little, it's more fun by us, like with your friends than by yourself. That's I don't the trademark even, of the that's show. That's the trademark of the show. <laughs> I don't even think... Can you play by yourself? Because I think it's just it just launches you into a multiplayer match when yeah, well, you select a game, right? Yeah, well, when I tried, before we played as a group, I tried to match make, and no one else in the world was playing it. So I had no one to play so with. So we were 90% oh. of the player population. Yeah, so there's flying, as you may have seen for a second there. And, you know, it looks cool, and it actually feels pretty nice, but there's no practical use. It actually made things worse for you because you automatically overshot the ball and then had to do an awful little turn Indeed. in order to get there. Was that you getting hit by a rocket? It was me getting hit by a rocket. And then getting a little shield deployed, which again is such a temporary uh, upset that it doesn't really change much in the game. I mean, actually, I shot you a few times. You did shoot me a few times. Thanks for that. <laughs> did, that up, did that upset you? It did because I, as you can see, I was winning, and then you shoot me, and uh, you're just screwing up my plan. <laughs> okay, well there you go. It, it does have an impact. There you go. But it it doesn't seem dynamic enough. Like if it's only rockets and shields. Mm. What are the what are the um, lightning bolts in the bottles that I'm seeing there? So they're speed boosts, I think, because okay. you have a little boost meter that drains. Um, so you kind of have to either go on those blue shiny bits to refill it, or get lightning bottles, I think, will refill it. Mm. I did notice, though, occasionally when I was flipping or I was on certain pads, it was refilling itself. Sure, right. But it's not entirely clear. I didn't ever feel Hitting like the ball seems to fill it up a bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, but that's just, again, it's not very dynamic. Just rockets and shields, that's about it. Mm. And I feel like one of the things, again, I'm gonna compare it to Mario Golf, mm -hmm. but one of the things that that does really well is there's a lot of different things that you can pick up and use. They all work differently and it's more things to look out for. Yeah, great. And that's the most yeah. recent one you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and honestly, the multiplayer was the best part of that game. The single player campaign of that game was very odd. And mm. can I say, a golf-based boss fight, one of <laughs> the, the weirdest and possibly worst things that I've had really? to endure. I love yeah. the idea, but um, I never played it, so oh. I, I can't. 
I can't speak to how good it was, how I, well it was executed. I love that it exists. I wish that I didn't have to play it. Right. <laughs> what would a, a turbo golf racing boss fight look like, do you suppose? Um, well, much like Mario Golf, pinging the ball into the boss to do, deal damage to it. Yeah, which actually sounds over. fun in theory, but considering they didn't pull off <laughs> anything else in this <laughs> game, I can't see it being good. So there's no campaign or multiplayer, uh, single player mode or anything like no, that. Yeah. Although we should say this is in game preview at okay. the moment, so it's early access, not finished. Um, that we haven't looked into what more is coming, if mm. anything. But uh, but they yeah. seem to have like plans for longevity because they have a season pass and they have a slew of unlockables. Um, if you notice in the bottom right there, my LB is mapped to a little pickup I unlocked, which pushes the ball away from me sometimes. So if I don't want to hit it myself and I just want to nudge it a little bit, it can help. But there's heaps of those little things you can get, but they just aren't... They should be incorporated into the core gameplay. They shouldn't be hidden behind unlockables, in my opinion. That, yeah. to me, sounds potentially slightly like a bit of a money grab for that season pass money. Mm. Because I am of the extremely strong opinion that online competitive games should be absolutely level and fair. I don't think there should be unlockable characters with different abilities or... Um, gear or anything like that that changes the gameplay. I think that the only things that you should have are cosmetics that don't affect how anything works. Of course there's always that small amount of, you know, a cosmetic can make you slightly harder to see or something like yeah. that, but mm. that's less of a big deal. So if they are kind of putting forward I'm sorry, I'm gonna say maybe half-baked gameplay mm. or at least game conditions and then put a season pass in? <laughs> I don't I I don't know that I vibe that oh come on get it in oh, Ew. Yeah, good. I will note I didn't have to pay for that little unlock there I got it but still unlockables holding actual gameplay mechanics it, it did seem like thing. there was mostly cosmetic though from what I looked at the okay past. Yeah, like, yeah. okay well then I'm sorry for slamming it um, but, no, but you're, you're, you're just <laughs> making a broader warning. point yes exactly. yeah. absolutely absolutely and we agree uh, but yeah, it's we've just finished our first set of three rounds. It was fine. We yeah. we're like we need to fill sixteen minutes. Let's do another three. <laughs> I placed sixth. Uh, Joe, did you come first in this one? Uh, I don't know about that one. I think maybe I did. We do see some of your gameplay later, and that's like pro leagues gameplay. <laughs> so whoever stuck around this far is about to be in for a treat. I do like how it looks, though. It is extremely Rocket League, yeah. but it's got that very fun, futuristic Tron vibe to it. I'm loving the look of the shield and the colors and the way it all just kind of glows. So at least they got that bit down, but almost disappointing to see that it does just look like Rocket League. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and all the physics and the handling feel good. I think I think the issue is just sort of the, the core mechanics of it don't gel very well in, sen in the sense of that once you sort of miss your ball, you lose all momentum and you, you, you can see in the footage people just circling around kind of, yeah. they just keep hitting, missing it. That's not fun. You kind of need something that, you know, like a little tether or something that you can just pull your ball in front of you really quickly or some way to just quickly like jump around and like get behind the ball quickly, add some kinetic gameplay to it that just stops that circling loop yeah that literal gameplay loop. <laughs> yeah. and i know that that's something that people can suffer from in rocket league but that's also solved by the fact that you have a team and if you miss the ball someone else can pick it up mm -hmm. um but when it's you and your ball alone in this great wide world yeah. that doesn't really work but that uh tickled something in my brain what if you had this game but Instead, the ball is kind of lightly tethered to you. It swings around oh. you as you're driving. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's good. And you get, like, momentum when it swings by it, you. You get momentum, but people right. can knock your ball away from you. And then you have to drive back to it and retether it. Do we publish this episode? Because that's a million dollar game idea. Right? <laughs> I think that could be really fun. Yeah, that's I like that. Yeah, that's, yeah it could work. Immediately more interesting. Because I mean, maybe there will be some more, like, uh, variations of how the game plays in the final version. I think a few more different modes where they had some crazy things, you know, with connections to the ball and the car, working in different ways, would mm. make for a much more interesting game all up. But if it's like, if this is the entire game experience, I don't see many people sticking around for too many matches, to be no. honest. And while the maps are all very colourful and exciting, in the last map we actually saw that cool, uh, I guess it was like a spout that pushes you up into the air. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting, but... It doesn't really change the way you're playing the game. You're still gunning for the, the end goal, yeah, yeah. which is pretty boring. Yeah. yeah, and you just hit your ball down onto the second level, yeah. and now you've got to awkwardly 
fall down and try and find it. This is embarrassing footage, I will just clarify. <laughs> Wait till Joe's footage, I promise it gets better. The game will probably look better, um, but this isn't it. But this yeah, is I mean, you just showing us that everyone's human. That's right, especially me. <laughs> I think what I found as well when I was playing and actually succeeding was the fact that I wasn't using a lot of the extra things. I was just really focusing on driving into the ball, not missing it, and just hitting it forward mm. like consistently. That seemed to be the secret. As soon as I was trying to do fancy stuff, it would just throw me off. See, that to me is completely backward because <laughs> that that strips away what should be giving you pizzazz. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It becomes pizzazzless. Yeah. The yeah. fancy stuff should be getting you the win. Mm. And that should be the stuff that, you know, when you get a feel for it, really puts you ahead. And look, I know, Joe, that you hate it when we talk about how good you are at games. Um, but I'm sorry, you are just better at games than I think <laughs> I'll ever be, um, at least. So Some if, games. You're, I'm sure you could, you could beat me at plenty I'll, of games that you're good at. I'll kick your butt in Dota. Yeah, and I'm sure you would. that's possibly about it. Um, <laughs> until you start to play it and learn it. But I do think that if anyone was going to, in this kind of more limited amount of time, figure out a clever way to use something at your disposal to get you ahead, you would have. And you did optimize it, yeah. Yeah, like I say, but it was just it was it was just being consistent with the base mechanics and like, you know, maybe picking up a rocket and using a shield when someone was shooting at me. But that was about it, you know. Mm. Like, yeah, there's not a lot of tools there. No. But gang, I've just had another million dollar idea. Okay. Mm. This game, but two teams. One is trying to prevent people from... It's like, uh, like King of the Hill or whatever. Trying to prevent people from getting the golf balls in. Mm -hmm. And the other team is trying to get their golf balls in. Immediately, much more interesting, right? Potentially, yeah. And I think... Yeah, I mean, I think anything that was maybe... You know, two teams with a ball each or something mm -hmm. and the same mode might be more interesting and more fun because you would have the teamwork going on, more people picking up the slack for you, some, like... You have team tactics coming into it. It's all about interaction with each other. Mm -hmm. yep. This is actually very passive because people are there, but you don't actually really interact with them almost at all. And it mm. seems like trying to shoot rockets at each other just distracts you mm -hmm. from trying to get the ball in. So you, yeah. you wouldn't bother. But another million dollar idea, <laughs> right? Two teams, uh -huh. one ball. There's a goal on each end of the course, mm -hmm. and you try to put the ball into the opposite goal. So I think you've just invented soccer. Oh, it, right. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, rock, or Rocket no. League. <laughs> <laughs> oh. but not a bad idea. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, I think that game could work, I think. I think it could take I off. I think it could be a, a big deal. Absolutely. Um, another thing, so look at the, well, I mean, this isn't the right time to look at it, but the UI isn't too crash hot. Another thing that makes this feel like a lonely multiplayer experience is that you don't really know how close to the end goal your friends are. There's no like um, like leaderboard or anything, so you don't know who you should be firing a rocket at other than just eyeballing it. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like that's, again, a missed opportunity. It just feels lonely. I just felt like I could have been playing with bots and not my pals. Well, yeah. the menus and even the font, uh, to me, looks a little bit like a mobile game. Okay, yeah. It reminds me of, oh gosh, I, the, the name of it is on the tip of my tongue, but yeah, I've, the, I've played a couple of mobile games that just give me this vibe. Mm, I don't know. That stock yep. font, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's it. That mm. it feels a bit more like a stock font. It doesn't feel necessarily quite as refined. Honestly, that doesn't super bother me because I'm not here for the menus. Right, you're here um, to watch yeah. Joe do this amazing gameplay. So this is Joe's footage now. <laughs> this is Joe's footage now. Yes. And we're zoomed in because uh, Joe clearly hates HUDs because he just needs to see the action. No, because because I'm a pro gamer, I play ultra wide and forgot to turn my uh, resolution to the correct <laughs> capture resolution. So we had to crop the edges off. Yeah. <clears throat> Did it give you an edge having an ultra wide display? Not at all. Okay. No, <laughs> all. No, I don't think so. Because everything's happening directly in the middle. It was... Well, already you've just purposefully hit the ball where you want it to go and it's done exactly that. Well, this feels a lot more fluid, doesn't it? It does. So I apologise to everyone who just endured the first <laughs> two thirds of this video. Well, yeah, I mean, like I say though, it's just, I'm just trying to make sure I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you're just trying to hit it forwards consistently and just not drive past it, you know. So are these big vortexes like boosts as well? Yeah. A little, and you can kind of, you can control how you're flying through them a bit, you can dive and, and pull up a bit, but 
It almost doesn't seem necessary, though. No, well, that's exactly right. right. Yeah, it's a bit of flair on the course. Yeah. Which is yeah. I wish it was more like, uh, um, what was it, uh, Sonic Racing Transformed or Diddy Kong Racing, where being in an aircraft was like meaningful, because mm. those games were great. It feels good to fly around in a 3D space and try and like hit targets. So you think it should be golf, but with planes? I kind of feel like it should be <laughs> golf with planes. I have seen a lot of golf games crop up in the last couple of years. You know, you've got golf with friends. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that I'm into it. I don't think that any game really has managed to make me look kindly upon golf. Fair. Yep. But yeah, that's Turbo Golf Racing. Well, thank you so much for showing me the sadder, younger sibling of Golf Story, <laughs> as I'm going to call it. Oh, Golf Story meets Rocket League. Mm. Um, it was interesting, but I, I don't think I'm going to pick this one up. I will never touch this game again. <laughs> it, would take a, it would take a lot for me to come back to this. Well, now no one needs to play it because you've seen it all here on ABC Gamer. Thanks for joining us. If you liked what you saw, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out some of the other cool stuff that we've got on the channel, such as Loot Drop for some gamer news. Have you got a favorite golf game yourself? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time.